spice. <laughs> the great outdoors. There's a lot to be said for nature. <laughs> okay, are we ready to clap? Clap. Ready and... Aloha! Here we are, we're back again. And this time, our class is on Ho'oponopono Ke'ala. Ho'oponopono Ke'ala comes through the lineage of Ka'ivi Kuomo'o Ke'ku'o Kaleni, which is through my grandfather's side. And um, he was my mentor, um, <clears throat> my first kumu, <laughs> along with my mom. Hmm. So they were both very, very ono. Mm. <laughs> so in the introduction of Ho'oponopono Keala, when you first heard about it, let me ask you, let me let me throw this one <laughs> at you. Okay. okay. Ho'oponopono Keala. Okay. What does that mean to you? What is Ho'oponopono Keala? Well, what I had heard about before meeting you mm -hmm. and being introduced to Ho'oponopono Keala was Ho'oponopono. Ah. And the that, other one. Yeah, that was um, conflict resolution. Oh. So it was making wrong right. Ooh. And, and, and how to do that. And, um, you know, foundationally <laughs> founded in forgiveness. So that's what I, I had known up to the point of meeting you. And then, then that was the first time I was introduced to Ho'oponopono Keala, which you said, you explained the meaning of the Hawaiian words. Ah, yes. You know, that if, if we knew Hawaiian, <laughs> we would know that there's no wrong in Ho'oponopono that there is no wrong in that word and that that is more of a, a foreign influenced um, version uh, titled underneath you know underneath the Hawaiian word which doesn't match okay I'll take you off the hot seat <laughs> okay thank you <laughs> but yeah so I did I didn't know I, I had only known um, the the foreign influenced version Mm -hmm. Before I met you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in truth, um, my Auntie Simeona, mm -hmm. you know, on my mother's side of the family, um, she was, how shall I say this, with much aloha, she was a little bit radical. Mm. <laughs> but with much aloha, yeah. And that is back in the whole early 40s, I believe it was. Um, and this is what I'm getting from my mom and them, you know, is that she brought out um, the the um, teachings of Ho'opono. Oh, no. Now, Auntie did not, she was not finesse at the Hanaipo'e language, you know, mm -hmm. the, um, as some people call it, you know, the Olelo Haoli. Mm -hmm. yeah? She was not really finesse about that. So when she met up with a person um, that was more finesse, educated, yeah, he saw something um, really good about this philosophy, you know, and he thought, oh, yeah, this would work, you know, to mm. take it out to the world, you know. So he became a student, mm. uh, per se, of my auntie. And he gleaned from it the things that he could see would be of a of an attraction mm -hmm. for the Hanai Poe, mm -hmm. the you know Poe Haoli. Yeah. And from that part, that was his um, how should we say his inspiration, mm -hmm. yeah, to be able to bring something like this out into the world. So of course the ho'opono pono that auntie was talking about meant making right more right mm -hmm. 
because really the word for wrongness was not even in Ho'oponopono. The word for wrongness is kaheva mm -hmm. or heva. <laughs> okay? <laughs> not uh, in there. It's not in there. <laughs> not there. <laughs> not there. Okay? If he had understood the Hawaiian language or had even asked a Hawaiian who, who understood, you know, that Hanai uh, Po'e language, you know, the Haole, then he probably would have been able to get the bigger picture. Mm. But as it was, no, it didn't happen. So he put out here, you know, uh, because he was also met up with this marketer, you know, mm. all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and he put out that this was a format, a, a uh, mm, spiritual, mm -hmm. spiritual mm -hmm. um, teachings of the Hawaiians, of the mm -hmm. Kanaka Maoli. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that it had to do with um, making wrongs right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what you see. That's what the world mostly saw. Yeah, so many people have been introduced to Ho'oponopono as that. Yes. And and Conflict unless you and unless you don't know, right. you don't know. That's right. That's right. And not only that, let's look at it this way. The value system of calling something, especially when it has to do with a culture, and excuse the expression, but an indigenous culture that was overtaken, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. um, illegally overtaken mm -hmm. by, you know, um, businessmen from, you know, the mainland, mm -hmm. of course. So they're going to go with an attachment, let's say, mm -hmm. that they believed in, mm -hmm. okay? So their leadership was more about, oh, well, here is a culture that um, needs to be educated. <laughs> so there's these, you know, indigenous Hawaiians. <laughs> so therefore, this is what was coming in, you know. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the influence. Mm -hmm. So whenever you have something like that, and you can say you're you're an American, mm -hmm. per se, and you're going to add to it mm -hmm. naturally you're going to find fault with it to begin with right so that you can add something to it <laughs> we'll make it fit yeah we'll make you it know, fit. Yeah. it's it's kind of like uh yeah because you know um on the mainland you know mm -hmm. a lot of religions and mm -hmm. philosophies mm -hmm. are based in you know either you're born in sin you know mm -hmm. and then and then you have the opportunity to to move out of that sin and, you know, so it's the wrong right. You know, we're wrong and we sin because we're not perfect. And so then we can attain or strive to attain more perfect, you know, perfection. Mm -hmm. So it's, it just really fits so comfortably in what, what is so deeply ingrained, you know, for generations. Um, you know that philosophy making wrong right just worked really well and mm. was very attractive and then you title it with the hawaiian word mm -hmm. now it's twice as attractive so it does sell a lot of books still yet <laughs> <laughs> fills a lot of classrooms yeah. yeah yeah um there is an author i might add that really is putting it out here now you know and I don't think I'm supposed to say his name. So I'm not gonna. <laughs> is that Pono? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. No, no, say the name. Um, they know who it is. Yeah. They know who it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Something about zero something or another. No, I don't, I don't know. know. But anyway, yeah. So he's taken that, you mm -hmm. know, and mm -hmm. yeah. So I get asked that question often. Yes. And I'm sure you have. Yes. You know, and Brett over here has. Yeah. You know, and, and the question usually is about, oh, well, there is forgiveness. Where is the forgiveness mm -hmm. in this philosophy, mm -hmm. in this format, you mm -hmm. know? And of course, moi, mm. you know, gives them what is really true about mm -hmm. our language first. Mm -hmm. you know, say, well, some people would say that there is forgiveness because it's in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
if you know the Hawaiian language again, you would know that there is no such word as wrongness or forgiveness in the, in this philosophy. Yeah. Because ho'o means making, mm -hmm. making something happen, mm -hmm. and then pono is right, rightness, mm -hmm. perfection, perfection. Mm -hmm. excellence. Yep. And then if you put another, you put another oh. pono behind that, it's even more. Yeah. Right. Perfection, excellence. Yeah, it seals that. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. yeah. So ho'o pono pono is making right. More right. Yeah, and Keala is the path. The path. The path. So one can say, oh wow, so I am, you know, being, being birthed in this, on this planet, on this Honua. Then I am in the right place, right time, right being. Mm -hmm. As my grandfather used to always say, Ikaponomea. Yep. Ikaponomea. You are in right place, right time, right being. Yep. You know. All is in perfection. All is in perfection. You know. So here we go. The first time you heard it, and your boss mm -hmm. of the retreat said, <laughs> Oh, yeah. She was like, Mandated. They, yeah, mandated that you come. You know, all the employees were to go to this class to to um, really be, be, be placed in Pono, that we were all on the same Pono page. Uh, she wanted all of the employees on that Pono page. And to understand <laughs> the Aloha's. Yeah, so when she said, I go, well, what is the class about? And she goes, oh, it's Ho'opono Pono. And I'm like, oh, oh really? Oh. I'm like, I'm sure I'm busy. I'm sure I have an appointment or something. But no, it was mandated, um, and she goes, no, it's not that. It's not a conflict resolution. Um, Anake brings in the ancient teachings, mm -hmm. you know, the teachings from the time before there were foreign influences, mm -hmm. before the, the, you know, the Western and the missionaries came, and, and then even before that, where the Tahitian influence came. Mm -hmm. So ancient, more ancient. That this is, you know, truly the the Ho'oponopono Keala is founded in the Aloha spirit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I was asked that, and it was like leaving the question in the air, which was, well, then what do we do about forgiveness? <laughs> <laughs> Where does that belong? <laughs> and I go. I don't know, not us. <laughs> <laughs> in the forgiveness program. Yeah, in the forgiveness program. But call it the forgiveness program, not Ho'oponopono. Because Ho'oponopono, that's not what Ho'oponopono means. Mm -hmm. So title it, title forgiveness, it's title. Whatever that is, but it's not Ho'oponopono. Well, I would always say it has its own value. Absolutely. It really does. Uh, forgiveness has its own value. In, even though it's not a part of our protocols, our system of Ho'oponopono Keala, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you just toss that out. Yeah. It doesn't mean that. Yeah. It means that there are those that do follow that kind of value, mm -hmm. okay? Now, the question again is, really, who would follow that? Who would follow having made a wrong, knowing that you made it wrong, let's say, mm -hmm. and then making the admittance of forgiveness, you know? Who would do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, my answer to that is a society that believes in faults and blames, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A society that that um, values, let's say, values the answers for everything like that nature, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, to have this sense of forgiveness in place mm -hmm. because it is from a society that knows. Mm -hmm that it needs to have a cover. <laughs> Something better be in place. Something better be in place, you know. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because it's certainly not yeah. us. We don't need yeah. that. That's that's why it was never put in our in our verbiage. Yeah. 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 So therefore we give it back to where it came from. Yeah, the fault finding society. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Yeah. And that's one of the first things that I find that when one recognizes that there is such a thing in the underlining of a belief system, then you can make a choice mm. to not be a part of it or to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Sure, absolutely, you know. To recognize what's at play, so to speak, mm -hmm. yeah. So when you recognize that, oh, there is a society that does have such a leadership thing going on, you know. Um, for instance, with our uh, culture, the Hawaiian culture or the Kanaka Maoli, mm. there's a difference by the way. Mm. Um, if you are to say Hawaiian, then you're not really talking about just the indigenous people. Right. You're talking about anyone born here in Hawaii name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone born here is Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. You know. Not really, but you know. Yeah, they are. Yeah. You can call yourself Hawaiian. Yeah, you can call yourself Hawaiian. But to call yourself Kanakamori means you are of the blood. Yes. Okay. So there is a difference there. So we of say Kanakamori. Right. We came here and settled, you know, you have to go back through the history. And in accordance to my grandfather, the history of how we came here to the islands of Vaine is that we crossed the oceans. You know, the, the closest mass of land to us mm -hmm. here in Hawaii, here on these eight islands, is about 2,300 miles away. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of ocean. <laughs> you better be so good at paddling. Mm -hmm. The va, yeah. the canoe, yeah. you know. <laughs> because you're going to see a lot of ocean. Okay? So, what was it that brought them here? This little group of Kanaka. Mm -hmm. What was it that brought them here? Peace. Aloha joy and lifestyle this is what brought them here plus the fact that back in the day as well as still today we are very much in touch with our ancestors mm -hmm. okay to us our ancestors just simply change forms mm -hmm. okay you know when they say ashes to ashes <laughs> Not us. <laughs> Not us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we know that life continues. The journey yeah. continues. Yeah. And choose that partnership. Choose that partnership. Yeah, and continue that partnership. Be in that partnership. You know, some people call them guardian angels and yeah. all that kind of yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, okay, whatever it is that you mm -hmm. wish to call them, that's fine too. They answer too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You know. So here we are, and the story, the mo'olelo of that goes that these, this group of people were not finding their place in a society that believed in wars. Mm -hmm. They did not believe in war. Mm -hmm. They found life more precious than that. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it, they would move away from that, mm -hmm. you know. And of course, they, you know, pule, mm -hmm. pule their ancestors, pray. you know. Yes, pray to the ancestors and, you know, deliver us from, you know. So what they went into is that energetic world mm -hmm. of kupunas, mm -hmm the spiritualness of it all, okay? And they manifested the island beyond the clouds. Mm -hmm. The island beyond the clouds. 
And you know what? One day I'll tell you about the island. Okay. The oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good we'll one. save that one too. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, yes. And so they followed. They followed the breezes. They followed the Naya, the dolphins. They followed the Kohola, the whales. They followed the creatures of the sea. Mm -hmm. Because as my grandfather used to always say, there is stars, that's the universe, that's the stars, that's Kalani, the heavens, but there is also here. Beneath us is also the sea. Mm -hmm. And it is a universe, yes. you know. And so to live in the center of both worlds and to be able to understand and relate to the natural world. Mm -hmm. That was very, very important to this group of people. Mm -hmm. That that's why they were able to transport themselves on canoes, mm -hmm. on the, you know, va, and led by the Naya and the ocean creatures, mm -hmm. they were able to bring the islands to them. There's a big difference, you know, in how you malama that. Mm. How you think about, oh, how do you do this? How do you, how do you manifest something and mm. experience? How do you do that, you know? Do you go run out there and go get them? No. <laughs> no, no, bring no, no. Bring them to you. Yeah, the malama is you bring it to you. Bring them. Yeah. Ho imai. Yeah, ho imai. Hey, ho imai. <laughs> That's right, you know. And so one day I'll tell you about yes. that. Yes, oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, and I love that because, um, you know, in those mo'olelos, those stories, you know, really show how the Kanaka came here, Kanaka mm -hmm. Maole came, and they were able to be sustainable as a society yes. 3,000 miles away from any, you know, other larger landmass. You know, yes. they were out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yes by themselves and were able to be a sustainable society of people because they were founded, they were based in the aloha spirit. Yes. In that aloha. Mm -hmm. So nowhere in aloha is there forgiveness. No. <laughs> because you, there, there are two different vibrations. Absolutely. Correct? The Absolutely. aloha, the love, yes. and forgiveness, which is wrongness, yeah. are yeah. two different vibrations. Yes. They don't even... It's not in the same poibo. Not in the same poibo. So, so yeah, that's, you know, that's how Kanaka Maole navigated and, mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. lived life mm -hmm. um, moment to moment mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. in that aloha spirit. So, yeah, you know, Ho'oponopono, you know, they were in the rightness. Everything was right time, right place, right being, perfection. And then the next moment, more perfection. Yeah. So the manifestation of it all was to bring that spiritual, spiritualness, that energy of it, and to bring it into this dimension. Yeah. It was that simple. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. simple. To bring it into this dimension. Well, with the incoming influences from other lands and other belief systems, it didn't take long. Mm -hmm before those influences took over the belief systems of today of the Kanaka Maori. Yeah. Yeah. So it's now coming forth that the Kanaka can reclaim their energies, their belief system based in the protocols of energies, mm -hmm. you know, go back to energies. Yes because that's really the creative source and force that makes it happen. I love that when the force is with you. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just love that because that's it, you know? Yeah, and, I, yeah. and when I first heard it, I went, oh, they said they that. Know about My the grandpa force. used to say that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, mm -hmm. it's the force, it's the force, you know? Mm -hmm. And oh my goodness, it's so much closer. I can see this even now, even today, you know, 
that so much closer are we coming to that perfection, that meeting. Mm. You know? Just like today, okay? We have the coronavirus. Mm. <laughs> That's not by accident, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -mm. In fact, you know how um, just a little while ago, I heard it over the news report, that something about the poles have separated, something magnetic is happening in in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. yeah? Well, Grandpa used to talk about that. Mm -hmm. He said, there has to be a separation before the Lokahi can come together. Mm -hmm. And back then, you know, and I know, I'm talking about what I am, mm -hmm. you know, not, not really sure, but just kind of, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so here we are today. Yeah. Isn't that true? You know, we, we, uh, as, as a society of people, we've, mm -hmm. we've become so, um, disconnected, mm. um, even from our true identity, mm. you know, mm -hmm. to who we truly are as spirit and mm -hmm. spirit greatness. Mm -hmm. um, we're so disconnected from each other and from things and from, you know, all of these things. It's like we, we were so far apart. And then now with yeah. this beautiful opportunity, Lokahi. We come, the Lokahi, the coming together and the magic of that and that it's happening in our lifetime. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to even go explore even more. Yeah. As more and more of this is revealed, we'll, we'll bring in the tools. Mm -hmm. We'll bring in the tools that, again, the engagements with the kupuna. Yeah. Yeah. That brings all these things back to us. It's never lost. Mm -hmm. It's never lost, you know. One of the greatness that I see today, even, that here we have a culture, okay, a culture that doesn't believe in war. Okay. I mean, our songs, our melees, our dance, we don't have any war songs. No. You know, except what's been made up in the 40s, you know, <laughs> well, during the World War. Yeah. yeah. But for us ourselves, because we were a cluster of people that began together without a belief in wars, where life is so precious, always has been, you know that we remained in that kind of a belief system. Mm -hmm. So therefore our language, <laughs> our language, just our language alone. I mean, we only have 12 letters mm -hmm. in the alphabet. <laughs> 12 mm -hmm. letters in the alphabet. Yeah, you cannot make up too many words no, with that. No, thing. no, no. It keeps it real simple. <laughs> yeah, it's very simple. Like grandpa used to say, yeah, to too, mea, 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 too many words easy for get confused. That's right. That's right. So half of the language that most people have. Yeah. We don't have. Right. Okay. Because it didn't serve anything. Because, because they did not make it a part of the kupuna engineering. So because half of the half of most most cultures language mm. is negative. Yes. And how kanaka maole and Nakupuna, the ancestors, engineered the language to be pa'au positive. Yeah, very pono pa'a. No negative. So um, pa -a. if you couldn't say anything positive, then you just said nothing at all. That's right. Wow. That is so aloha. That is so simple. So simple. <laughs> so simple. So you never put out that kind of energy. Right. See, to our ancestors, to our kupunas, they always, even the live ones, they always said, if you know more, nothing good to say, say nothing. Mm. Mm. Say nothing. Mm. And can you imagine being a five-year-old or a 10-year-old kid? <laughs> <laughs> I no can say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> because I know more something good to say, you know what I mean? I mean, wow, you know. Mm. So you learn that really early, mm. you know. Mm. You say only aloha or you say nothing at all. Yeah. And sometimes if you slip up, no tell them your name. <laughs> no tell them what ohana you're from. Yeah. Who's your mother? Yeah, you're going to embarrass your, your ohana. <laughs> Aole. Mm -mm.
You mm -hmm. cannot embarrass mm -hmm. your Ohana, your family. Yeah. You know, that, that, that really meant a lot. Mm -hmm. Really a lot, mm -hmm. so, you know, yeah. But as we move along, we'll be working with more of the tools. I, I know, if I might say so, you have the navigator tool. That oh, is gonna yeah. Be yeah. Really awesome. Yeah, we'll be sharing as we go along all the different tools to apply mm -hmm. to really um, joyfully walk this path, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Ho'oponopono keala, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. path. Because the world needs more of us to help bring the clarity together and that spiritualness and that creativeness. Mm -hmm. And because it's here and because you've been prompted to share it, then there's the readiness. Yeah, well, no more choice. <laughs> <laughs> when Nakupuna, when the ancestors say, <clears throat> you do. Yeah. If you ever want to go home, spiritually speaking, <laughs> Then you better get it. <laughs> yes, so my kai. Hey, my kai. Okay, mahalo. Mahalo, Nui. Aloha. Aloha, Aloha Pono. Pono.